Hello everyone, welcome back to Z, and today we bring another intriguing concept, the Corrupted Ancestor Simulation Theory. Subscribe to the channel and follow us. One of the strangest aspects of life that we frequently take for granted is that it has a tendency to introduce new norms. Whether it's changing professions, attending college, becoming successful as a YouTuber or death, there are always fundamental changes in our lives. But a broader query would be, what is normal? What does that mean precisely? Is it arbitrary? And if so, what does that mean in the context of the entire universe? However, the universe as a whole also exhibits new norms, such as the formation of new stars, galaxy collisions, and galaxy evolution. But a looming conundrum in cosmology is whether everything could have unfolded differently, or even more intriguingly, whether the universe could have unfolded better from our perspective. Could the universe have been more ideal? Regarding the universe itself, the answer is no. It simply exists and most likely does not care how or in what form it exists, unless it does, in which case the query is even stranger. However, as far as we are aware, it exists in whatever guise it took. However this is difficult to imagine in terms of life, as there are numerous characteristics of the universe that, if altered even minimally, do not produce a better norm. Typically the house of cards that enables for life to exist collapses, leaving behind a universe that is either hostile to life or hostile to matter itself. However it is important to recognize that life in the universe is a component of the universe. It is possible that this universe is as perfect as it gets, but even if it is, most of it is still a hostile, cold vacuum dotted with hazardous exploding stars, and only extremely rare environments are suitable for at least our kind of life. But if you warmed it up, the entire universe would become a habitable zone, regardless of where you are in it, and this was actually the case in the past. The question then becomes, how did it end up as excellent as it did, and is the universe already perfect? On this question, we may never know the answer. Answering the query may necessitate a deeper understanding of the multiverse, if it exists at all, which may be impossible to collect data on. How do you obtain information from outside your universe? However, this also contains the infamous simulation theory. This topic has been the subject of much speculation, but it is fascinating to note that the imperfection of the universe may be in opposition to it. Why create a simulation that is not perfect? An open-ended query. But the fact that we could find anything we could define as an imperfection may be a means to at least effectively rule it out, if not outright, which is unlikely. What cannot be measured cannot be studied in science except through speculation. But according to the simulation theory, we exist not in a real universe, whatever that may be, but in a simulation. There are numerous concerns present. Who or what, if anyone, operates the simulation? Why is it present? Does anyone need to operate it, or is it a natural occurrence? Ultimately, it becomes a philosophical rather than a physical matter. Therefore, simulation theory in philosophy frequently takes the form of an ancestor simulation. At some point, a civilization determines to run a simulation of its past to get a general idea of how things were. Modeling the Big Bang in computer programs, or at least attempting to do so, is a form of this practice. This is only a partial representation, at best an approximation, and there is no successful full model of the Big Bang because there are still unobserved variables for which only hypotheses exist. It is difficult to refer to these models as simulations, although they are technically simulations in a sense. However, they do not replicate the actual complexity of the universe. A mere approximation. It would be a monumental endeavor to scale it up, and there is not enough matter in the universe to construct a computer capable of doing so. We appear unable to run simulations of ancestors at the actual resolution at which the universe operates. At best, we can only expect to do very low resolution approximations, but that only means we can't do it. On a level beyond our universe, it is conceivable. No one is aware. However there is an anomaly. It is possible for these computer modeling programs to become corrupted in a variety of ways as they continue to operate and become increasingly complex. 
Computational corruption can occur due to either a mechanical error or an errant cosmic particle. Yet, other than multiverses, the most complex thing anyone can realistically conceive of is the universe itself, meaning it may have an infinite or nearly infinite number of ways in which the simulation, if it is one, could become corrupted by internal or external error and no longer reflect an actual ancestor simulation, but a distortion of one. The Matrix films presented one of the greatest science fiction scenarios. Here, an artificial intelligence manifested as the architect is able to make changes without the perception or knowledge of those within the Matrix. They merely do not recall any changes, as there is no metric to measure this. In this regard, it was a form of self-correcting system. Similarly, it appears that for us, the question of which aspect of the universe might represent a system-wide corruption would remain open indefinitely. Well, if we can't know about a fundamental change, we won't be able to measure it, therefore, science leaves the stage. However, singularities, such as the interiors of black holes, are a possibility in this context. The interior of a black hole is ambiguous because, in many ways, it is a region that is no longer a part of the universe, but instead stands apart from it, unable to interact with the rest except to devour anything that comes too close. Another possibility is the very beginning of the universe, in which case the singularity of the Big Bang represents the corruption of something that existed eternally before it was corrupted and the universe was created as a consequence. It is possible that the universe is an error in the matrix of the multiverse itself. While highly speculative, the multiverse does answer the universe's fine-tuning question, namely why it is as it is and why it can conditionally support life. But this does not answer the question of whether it could be improved. In this case, most universes cannot support life, and this one merely won the lottery, but it is also possible that this universe is not ideal for life and that there are universes that are. Leaving aside fine-tuning and the multiverse, we might not be able to detect any type of corruption or error in the universe. This brings up the rather eerie question of whether we would even be aware if something about the universe, a fundamental aspect or even an event in its history changed. Would it be Marty McFly witnessing his photograph disappear, or would we be blissfully unaware of any change, with the new normal appearing identical to the old? Obviously, if something changed too drastically, we would cease to exist, so it can't have changed much, but the point is that if it did, we may not know about it because we are part of the continuum of the universe. Similar to the Matrix. Clearly, science must operate under the presumption that such fundamental changes do not occur. And if they do, even if we are unaware of them, they would result in our extinction if they went too far. If the universe does not exist at its lowest energy state, and if it ever tunneled to that state, it would unleash a wall of death that would expand at the speed of light, leaving behind profoundly altered natural laws. Here, extinction would be instantaneous, and we would have no prior warning. And it would be a universal extinction, eradicating Kardashev Type 3 extraterrestrial civilizations just as it would us, unless they are indistinguishable from gods and could protect themselves from it, or even cause it. As the universe extinction wave propagated, for most it would be normal one moment and gone the next, to the point where matter may no longer exist in a stable, familiar form. This results in a frightening scenario and solution to the Fermi paradox. This would be a universe in which numerous highly advanced civilizations exist and have developed the technology necessary to reduce the universe's energy level. If all sufficiently evolved civilizations are aware of this and comprehend the potential consequences, isolation and hope may replace diplomacy as the dominant force in the universe. Never attack anyone because they have the same ability to nuke the universe as you do, so whenever two civilizations are near enough to meet, they retreat out of mutual respect. However, for strategic reasons it may be best to conceal their presence to avoid potential conflict. Of course, this is highly speculative, but it's worth noting that nuclear-armed nations do not always have extensive diplomatic ties. However let's return to simulation-based alterations. It is possible that there is also subtlety on very tiny scales here. Perhaps we would be able to detect alterations on the quantum scale. Possibly this is the result of quantum non-locality or the blurring of probabilities. However there is no substantiation for that. 
Even if more subtle changes were occurring, it is possible that we would not be able to detect them, therefore, it is prudent to presume that they are not occurring due to the absence of evidence to the contrary. Yesterday was yesterday, and its events led to today in an unbroken causal chain dating back to the Big Bang. The timeline has been preserved, and there have been no changes, but we cannot literally prove that. Simply put, everything appears consistent and devoid of time paradoxes. Asking what is typical for a universe is a difficult query because there may be no answer. If one accepts simulation theory, there remains the possibility that whoever or whatever is operating the simulation has become corrupted and the world we inhabit is not what was intended. Rather, it has become corrupted over time and represents a fever dream of its former self, perhaps the environment immediately after the Big Bang was optimal, and the universe's decay and entropy represent corruption. Perhaps this is the reason why any extrapolated projections of the universe's distant future appear more difficult and dangerous for life than it does now. This is probably not the case, but we cannot be certain. Thanks for watching everyone. Is there anything you like to say? Tell us in the comments, subscribe to our channel for regular, in-depth explorations of the fascinating, strange and unknown aspects of the universe we inhabit.